are some things that you should know about Christmas in the South. First of all, you will not be getting a white Christmas. More than likely, you'll be getting a tornado warning Christmas or maybe like a flash flood Festivus, but under no circumstances will it snow. There will be a Christmas parade with at least one local politician, the police department showing off some military surplus tank that they just had to have for some reason, and Santa Claus on a fire truck. Now listen to me, regardless of the town size, there will always be Santa Claus on a fire truck. Sometimes that's the only thing on the parade is Santa Claus on a fire truck. I lived in two towns in Alabama where that was the entire parade. You didn't even know what Saturday they were coming. You just hear the sirens look outside and here is Santa Claus on a fire truck. And speaking of Santa, there is no mall for him to post up at every day in December. So your best bet is to catch him on one random Saturday at like the Ace Hardware or the Piggly Wiggly. Or if you're feeling really adventurous, you go into the big city and see him at Bass Pro Shop. He's always there on the second floor, right above the guns. Every church down here will be doing a Christmas play, and the larger the church, the more likely that you'll have live animals in the production, and the smaller the church, the more likely that the angels will be wearing choir robes. And it's not that the small churches don't have access to live animals, because they all do, it's just that they spent at least two business meetings arguing about the cost of the new carpet in the sanctuary, and they are not about to let some goat go waltzing through there. Sister Beulah is not having it. Every town is decorated, and some do it big, like Grapevine, Texas, and Dahlonega, Georgia, but even the small ones will find some lights to throw up on the power poles. You know, even if half those lights are broken, and the light up reindeers look like they have mange. But they're trying. God bless them. Food is a big deal down here all the time, and that's why we treat Christmas like it's Thanksgiving the sequel, but pumpkin pie has been replaced by ambrosia. And if you don't know what that is, it's uh, like mayonnaise and coconut and marshmallows and you're probably not going to try it. I didn't say that the sequel's better than the original. Eggnog is a thing around here, uh, unless you're in parts of Mississippi, Tennessee, and Kentucky, then it's probably bull custard. And while we're on the subject of regional differences, you can expect to see tamales in Texas, shrimp and grits in Carolina, jambalaya in Louisiana, and Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes in my belly. I am not sharing. Walmart will be closed but the Waffle House will be open. And a lot of Southern families have made it an annual tradition to go to the Waffle House for Christmas. I guess because the mystery of finding out what's in a present is not nearly as fun as trying to figure out what is this thing stuck to my fork. Hopefully food, it wouldn't mind. Speaking of presents, someone will be gifting you oranges because this is peak season for oranges down here. And also because the high school marching band was selling boxes of fruit for a fundraiser. So we had to buy at least three of them. So you're all getting oranges and apples. So yeah, Christmas is just a little bit different in the South. And by that, I mean, we love it a lot more. I mean, Alabama was the very first state to declare Christmas a legal holiday. And who knows what you'll see walking around down here in December. You might see Santa Claus or Uncle Jesse from the Dukes of Hazard. I don't know, all the old men here are fat with beards. It's kind of like the North Pole, but we shoot the deer.